Yeah, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So here's my catch up video. Just doing this just before it warms up. Today is nice and warm but it's set to get up to I reckon it might break some records next week, which could be between 17 and 21, which is warm. We're lucky if we get that in the summer sometimes. Well, wow, look at this flower here. Absolutely gorgeous. That is outstanding. So, yep. Just come round here. New shoots there. My fuchsia. That's beautiful. As we come round. Little reclaimed Bosch Well, my I got that. Somebody left it outside for the bin men. The only thing that was wrong with it, the uh, the handle, the on off button had broken. But I replaced it with a fly more one and it works fine now. Anyway, back to these. So these are my hollyhocks that are self seeded. There's some perennial geranium, it's got a lovely pink flower on. Daylilies here. This is gold something or other. Japanese uh, anemones, I think. Uh, yeah, I think they are, yeah. Come round. More day lilies. And these are grown from seed last year. These are my lupins, which I'm so proud of. I've got one there. I've got another one there. That's just That's been there a couple of years of that one. That is lovely. I think it's pink and yellow. Purple and yellow. As we come down, just spin round. This needs to be sprayed. This has got caterpillars. Seen all the damage there. And then I have aquilegias in here. Turn around, aquilegias here. Then we come around. These primulas are absolutely gorgeous. Then we come around here. Primulas, primulas, primulas everywhere. Look at those. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice pink, nice carnation. This is a beautiful white one, the scent on it is absolutely divine. So as it warms up, I'm going to keep pruning this back, get a nice thick plant on it. And I'm going to dig it up, take some cuttings. Because I want five or six of those for uh, later in the year, next year. You see here, this is one that's been planted. This has been root trained. That's when you bury a part of the plant. It roots. So then you end up with another plant. That's what I've done there. Right, I could bury this here actually. I could bury that there. But then they look, they would all root them. Those, and you can end up with five or six new plants there. I might even do that a bit later. We come round. These are foxgloves, digitalis, that I've uh, transplanted. So there's one, two, three, four, five there. And then we have my beautiful Papaver somniferum, my poppies. One there. You see there, some damage on one. The slugs and snails have had a beat. I've gone mad. I've got a cat, so I cannot use ordinary slugs and snail pellets this year, which is a bit annoying. There's my old fashioned daffodils there, and we have a bit of new growth here. Been wanting to show you, waiting for this to show. That is amazing. That is my peony. These are, smell absolutely divine. So I cannot wait till that, till that flowers. Aquilegias. This is a. Delphinium that I'm going to dig up and transplant because you can see a lot of snail and slug damage. There's too much competition. So I'm going to dig that up and move that round to this border down there. I have another one there. Dig that one up as well and move that. It doesn't get enough light here. Quite shaded. Aquilegias and then my beautiful tree. Peonies at the back there. Which really couldn't have done with digging up and uh, dividing this year, but I'll do it next year that one. Not the end of it will. And this peony here, because it's getting more light. Look at that. I bet I get seven or eight stemmed off that, which would be beautiful. Come around here. Some more day lilies. There and there. Aquilegias. This is an oriental poppy <coughs> that I've grown from seed. I call it Diane Joyce. It's absolutely it's just, just an off white. Really nice though. Self seeded hollyhock there, beautiful. I come down here, I still finish him at the corner there. I did all finish him there as well. I've, I dug it up and I've got seven plants out one, so I'm really happy with that. Now I've actually got eight, I took a little bud cutting as well. You come down here, delphiniums. I need to find some organic 
something that's not going to damage hit my cat that I can use because there's still been snail damage here that I'd three or four shoes that one and it's just this one left now so we have some peonies there small lupins we have there I think this one's you can just see there just there it's popping through little delphinium little delphinium tube which I have noticed so I think that's a white one we come down here bleeding heart dysentery yeah bleeding heart dysentery beautiful flowers on that one and bearded iris some more hollyhocks this one is always a favourite the caterpillars they really do find that one really tasty yeah and this is nice primula I like this one because it's quite a tall one but look in there look at that Sloping snails and puppy dog tails. Another looping, got some seed. If we come round, this is Lucifer, it's called that one. Crocosmia, I remember it. Hey, okay. beautiful. It's a beautiful red with white centre, I think it is. This is a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, this one. Yeah, beautiful uh, red and white pentamen here. That one survived really well. Always leave a plenty of top growth in case you get a really bad winter. So at least you've got a chance from coming through. We come around here. I want to put some on the edge here. Probably I can get some wood from state. Do it about six to twelve inches tall, just to keep everything back from coming onto the lawn. Panthers, absolutely gorgeous. So just spin it round. Here we have. I just tied this in today. This is an exclamation as a climber that keeps getting cut back by accident. Look at that, just hiding there. Here we have a ladybird. Hey, okay. I know Mr. Ladybird. Yes, yeah, so hopefully this one, I've tied it in there so it doesn't get blown about too much. Hopefully when it gets to about a couple of feet, I'll nip the top top out and hopefully it'll start growing a little bit better. But look, I've even got some buds on this now. So, this is so centered, this is absolutely gorgeous. I pruned it at the wrong time. But we had a mild winter, so it has actually got through it all. Look, some new shoots there, so I'm over the moon with this growing. Cost of cream, it's cold. Uh, jasmine, I think something like that. Always, always forget, anyway. Come back around. Bearded iris. And look at the new shoots on this now. This is a really gorgeous delphinium that I grew from seed, so it's my own. Nobody else has got this. But it's got a lovely electric blue colour. So I'm going to dig this up along with some of these bearded eyes to make some more space put some of these on and when I divide this put it in the greenhouse if I get seven or eight plants I'll be really happy and I'll probably sell some once you get going yeah we'll just come back around here have a look just spin around oh, my lovely Bosch that is so expensive that one was £139, £40 and it was free but yeah I said the grass is going to get cut today, which I'm looking forward to. First cut, this clematis is a really nice purple double one. And as you can see there, it's got shoots all the way to the top. My silver birch here. Come around. These are my agapanthus. Uh, high, high born, something like that. Right, I think this is the third year. So these should flower this year. I will probably be transferring those to oh, some pots this size. In the plenty of room. These are my peonies, as you can see there. Pop around peonies. As I sit down here, some other fox gloves there. I didn't until you sit down here on the right. Here we go. Just finished mowing the lawn, as you can see. Looking a lot nicer now. All roughly the same level. As you can see, the edges still need doing. I'm going to try and get some wood and get some uh, one inch, big, one and a half inch and put some stake and put a surrounding around it because every year my long it's a little bit smaller as I try and straighten the edges up by putting some wood in especially here I might put some flags here probably one, two, three, four flags here so I've got a little path going on there 
and then probably another path here so I'm straight to my bench there straight up to the garden but yeah really pleased with that looking nice like I said yeah just still need doing it's the first cut of the year and the sun's out I've got my t-shirt on it's a lovely warm day and it says it's only going to get warmer so just get squatted down here yeah what a difference that's made so yeah that's middle on cut first cut of the year and that's my cottage garden catch up hope you enjoyed watching hope everyone's keeping safe and as always happy sowing happy growing please subscribe and like thank you very much everybody thank you bye